just doesn't understand the value that the arts and cultural institutions bring to our community. He says he's not a politician. Well, folks, he's a career politician who stands up there and says he's going to do what he wants regardless of what the public wants. Mr. Polenkars makes things up all the time. I would tell you I absolutely value them, but I don't believe government plays a role in those smaller organizations. That's all I said, nothing more. The difference is Mr. Polenkars is going to promise everything to everyone. He believes in big government. The gloves are clearly off in the race for Erie County Executive. Good evening to you. Don is off tonight. Get ready for almost four more weeks of this. Chris Collins and Mark Polenkars faced off tonight for the future of Erie County. News 4's George Rickert was at tonight's debate. He's live in downtown Buffalo with more. George. These two have been at each other's throats for years, just in the elected positions that they hold. But tonight marks the first time that the county executive had to square off against the county's top fiscal watchdog in a formal debate stage. Face Democratic challenger Mark Polenkars took aim at County Executive Chris Collins for not making Bill's lease negotiations more of a priority. The Buffalo Bills are an institution in Western New York. We shouldn't be waiting for them to contact us because who knows what the future will bring. You need a county executive who's going to be proactive and actually negotiate with the bills now. But Collins says informal talks have been ongoing and will need to include state support too. And there's a role for the county taxpayers as well. And I know we're going to get this done, and I absolutely am working with the bills on an extension of the lease. On this day after another suicide at the Erie County Holding Center, Poland cars took aim at the way the county jail is run. Some deputies are working four to five days in a row, 16-hour shifts. And as a few of them have said to me, they feel like zombies after the second and third day. Every minute of overtime that's worked saves the county taxpayer dollars. And frankly, Mr. Polenkars, I don't think you should be trying to act as the sheriff. We have an elected official called the sheriff. I believe you should try to act as the comptroller, not the sheriff. Polenkars criticized the condition of Erie County Parks, but Collins says he'll let the voters decide if they're better now than before. Collins has at least four times more campaign funds going into this race, but criticized Polenkars for getting a third of his contributions from unions. Well, clearly, Mr. Polenkars' campaign is not only being paid for by the unions, they're paying his campaign manager uh, so it's clear he is uh, serving the unions and will. They're supporting me because the w strong working men and women of Erie County want a leader who represents them. They want someone from Main Street, not Wall Street. So the two candidates will square off again a week from today at St. Joe's High School in another debate. And then, of course, Election Day, November 8th, now less than a month away. Live outside Channel 17 Studios, George Rickert, News 4 at 11.